How many of you guys are right-handed? Right-handed, right-handed, right-handed? Left-handed? Boom, left-handed people? <laughs> left-handed people are weird. <laughs> Real weird. You're saying, hey, one more chance. Left-handed, sure? Okay, yep. Still got the same number. Okay, perfect. All right, look, so like something like like almost 90% of the population is right-handed, okay? And if they're not right-handed, they're taught right-handed things, okay? Right? It's not I don't know that it's actually uh, there's there's kind of some belief that like there's there's a greater percentage of people that are that are left-handed, okay? Maybe it's 75, 25 or something like that, but but a lot of people that are right-handed or that, that are actually left-handed are taught things right-handed, okay? Uh, in wrestling, that happens at a crazy 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 rate. I'm turn the music all the way down, somebody. Thank you, bro. Uh, in wrestling, that happens at a crazy, crazy rate. Okay, so here I get my stance right. Um, if I'm right-handed, you cannot help. You guys, I mean, it's like crack. Like you're, it's this guy's in a stance, and you just can't help it, but go grab his right hand. Like you, it's like cookies on Christmas morning on the counter. Like you're just like, oh my gosh, I gotta have those. Okay, mom can't cook the food without sampling it. Dad is look, dad's top secret. You're always gonna come sample some food. And kids, see some cookies on the counter. You can't help but like get one. You know, you go sneak it and. Try to walk it back to your room without your hands moving because it's by your side. Parents know because you start walking without your hands moving and they can tell that you're hiding something. Yeah, you can't help it. It's natural. I'm in my stance, I'm like, don't reach. So in wrestling, right-handed people are taught, they, they can't help but reach with their right hand. And because they're taught to reach, this, to lead their right leg, they do this all the time. And if I do this on Zach, I'm getting taken down. I mean, bottom line. A good dude, I'm wrestling here, boom. Okay, and when you have bad habits like that, and look, it's not your fault, honestly. Like you guys have been taught to wrestle that way. Okay, right-handed people teach right-handed people how to, or teach everybody how to wrestle right-handed. They try to cookie cutter the thing, and you need to lead your right leg, lead your right leg, lead your right leg, and you can't help it. It feels really unnatural. My left hand is nowhere near as strong as my right, so I don't really like collar tying the guy with my left hand because I know that it's not as good. You understand what I'm saying? If I'm gonna punch somebody, I don't punch them with my left hand. Like, you give them the smoke with the right, okay? So here's what I want you guys to understand. When, we, when you come out to wrestle, I wanna see you guys lead your left foot, okay? And everybody's gonna panic about this, but everything else that you do in life, if you're right-handed, it leads your left foot. If you throw a baseball, you lead your left foot. All right, a lot of you guys, if you get on the line to run, lead your left foot, you don't even realize it, okay? You kind of post off your right foot and get ready to go. Uh, if you are batting, you use your left foot forward, okay? Uh, anything, boxing, MMA, karate, any other, every other combat sport teaches if you're right-handed to lead your left foot. And for some reason, we keep teaching people in wrestling to do this. And a lot of you guys have been taught this, okay? We try to help encourage you guys to move hybrid, okay? So we're gonna do a drill here, okay? My partner's just gonna stand feet square, all right? Here, and I want you, and you're gonna go left foot, right foot, and I just want you to shuffle and step tight. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Right, shuffle, 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 left. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. How many steps is it to the other side? Four. How many steps is it to the other side? Four. Look, dude, if you do this in two, I'll freaking nunchuck you. Here. One, two. And then you're like, three, four. That ain't it, okay? Brody will do it like that. All right. Do you, do, I do this with kids in private lessons. I say kids, I don't know, high school kids. And they're like, like, nod, son, okay? In my stance, here, if I'm wrestling Zach, okay, if we were actually wrestling and, I'm, and I was right leg forward, to move into a left leg lead, it would take me four steps. We're wrestling, ready? Boom, one, two, three, boom, one, two, three, four. This is, this is what wrestling would look like. Boom, here, all right? Before I ever got comfortable with a left leg lead, it would take four steps. To get comfortable with a right leg lead, one, two, three, four, and then I feel comfortable setting my feet into right stuff, okay? Right legs lead, okay? Right legs lead, I think. Right legs lead. Here, I'm in my stance. We're gonna come out left foot forward, and now I can touch this guy with my right hand, which is everything that we've just been doing. Y'all, I'm, I'm spending this time talking about this because I want you to understand why you're gonna do this. We'll probably never teach somebody to lead right leg again unless you're left-handed. So left-handed people, keep doing what you're doing. All you normal people, right here. I'm in my stance. Okay, so we were going push pull outside. Now I'm gonna go left foot forward and I can collar tie here. Collar tie, pull, 
there's your outside step into the guy. Right, I'm left foot forward, smack him with a collar tie, meat hook, pull. Here, there it is, outside step. Check this right here. Bicep, tricep, okay? Flex your bicep, flex your tricep. Will, help Brody, he's not familiar with his biceps and triceps, because they're mostly inexistent. Here, bicep, tricep, outside step. My head's up. From here, I'm in great shape. This is where, I don't care what happens next. Zach was just talking about this. He's got dirty, dirty offense out of this. From here, I don't care if you re-step on your double leg. Boom. Here, or if he starts to bail away, I just cut the corner. Boom, and buff him down, pull my claw. If you get really saucy, collar top, meat hook, pull. Outside step, you can go up the crotch here, and then you lift. Boom, boom, take my man to his back. All right, are y'all with us here? One more time. Left foot forward, right hand collar. You can't help it but grab the head. Now my, my left hand is gonna get my meat hook. Here, pull, circle, circle. Outside step, head up, head up. I'm not doing this. My ear's not down here in his hip pocket. This is trash. I want my chest up, my hips underneath. Okay, and then from here, I don't care. If he tries to bail, cut the corner, boom. Or you can crowd him through. Collar, hook, circle, circle, circle. Outside step, pull pit, run my double. Are y'all with it here? Hey, let's spread out, work on it. Left leg lead, right hand collar. Ready, one, two. Boom, left hand people. Left hand people are weird. Real weird. Just saying. 